Okay, so we have covered the library search, we have covered manual entry and uploading files, which are very similar in some ways. Um, other options you would have is to add something from your favorites, which is a place where you can save citations uh, that you're not sure where they go yet, but you can put them in your, it's kind of like a parking lot for, for sources that you don't know where they go yet, or maybe you reuse them in lots of places. You can add sources from an ISBN or, or DOI. If we own them, it will connect to the records in the library catalog or discovery service. If we don't, it'll just put in a citation. Another way to add sources that is not listed here because it works a little differently is the cite it function. So the cite it option is a bookmarklet that you can use to grab items from your browser. To use it, you will be here in the reading list if you click on settings, you'll see cite it there. What they want you to do is take this little bookmarklet and drop it on your bookmarks bar, which I'm not showing, but you'll just drag it. Make sure you have your bookmarks bar open on your browser and you just drop it in there and it's going to save that little bookmark. All right, so now you can see my bookmarks bar along with everything else. Um, so that means that when I go to, if I am in any kind of library database, I should be able to um, have this ebook open. Just click on cite it. If I'm not signed in to the reading list already, it'll ask me to, to sign in. Um, but I was already signed in, so it just opens this little window and says, hey, we found, you know, this is the ebook you're trying to add. Um, what list do you want to add it to? And it's going to show you all the lists that you have access to. And I am working in my sandbox right now. If you had sections, it would tell, let you choose a section. We can go to any page. And uh, if, if we find something we want to save, just go to the site it bookmark. It will pull in some information for you. Select your list. And there it's saved. Okay, so if we're in YouTube, we can use Cite It to grab this video information. It puts in the title, type, URL, Ooh. add a list, select a list, I mean. And there's the video that we added. Oh, and it even plays in its own little window if you want. 